everybody. Um, we're doing things a little bit differently for church this morning. In fact, this week you've probably been doing an awful lot of things differently. And so what we wanted to do today was sometimes when everything has changed, it's nice to remember that God is in control, that he's got the whole world in his hands, that he loves us now, that he always has, and that he always will. And so today we're going to be thinking a little bit about the rainbow. And possibly if you've been out and about, you'll be seeing rainbows, places that they maybe weren't before, in people's windows as everybody puts them up. Um, and what we want to think about is how the rainbow is a symbol of how much God loves us, how he is completely in control of everything that happens, and how he will keep us safe. And so we're going to listen to the story of Noah. A new beginning. Time passed and many people filled the earth. Everyone everywhere had forgotten about God and were only doing bad things all the time. God's heart was filled with pain when he saw what had happened to the world he loved. Everywhere was disease and death and destruction, all the things God hates most. Now Noah was God's friend, which was odd in those days because no one else was. Noah listened to God. He talked to God. He just loved being with God, like you do with your best friend. Noah, God said, things have gone wrong. People have filled my world with hate instead of love. They are destroying themselves and each other and my world. I must stop them. First, we'll build an ark. Do you know how to build an ark? Neither did Noah. Luckily, God knew and he would show him. A storm is coming, God told Noah, but I will rescue you. I promise I'll send the animals to you, ones that creep and crawl and slither and slime and gallop and hop and bind and climb. And don't forget to pack everyone's food. The storm was going to wash away all the hate and sadness and everything that had gone wrong and make the world clean again. God had thought up a way to keep Noah safe, but Noah would have to trust God and do exactly what God told him. So Noah built an ark, short for a very large boat. Noah's neighbours came out to watch and point and laugh because they didn't believe Noah about the boat or the storm or needing to be rescued. And Noah must have looked rather silly. His boat was in the desert. The desert was nowhere near the sea and there wasn't even a cloud in the sky. Why would anyone need an umbrella, let alone a boat? But Noah didn't mind so much what other people thought. He minded what God thought. So he just did what God told him to do. When the ark was ready, God said, all aboard. And Noah's family and all the animals climbed inside. Then God shut the door and it started raining for minutes that joined up into hours, that joined up into days, that joined up into weeks and weeks. And the rain joined up into puddles, that joined up into rivers, that joined up into lakes, that joined up into a flood that covered the whole world. Their boat that had once seemed so big suddenly seemed very small. But in the middle of the huge storm, in the crashing waves and all the thunder and lightning, through it all, God was with them. And God kept them safe for 40 days and 40 long nights. Finally, the rain stopped. The sun came out and Noah threw open all the windows. Hooray, everyone shouted. Noah sent his dove out to explore. And it wasn't long before she brought him back a fresh olive leaf. Everyone knew exactly what that meant. She had found a tree and land. The water was going down. At last, the boat landed quite suddenly on top of a great mountain. As soon as it was safe, God said, out you come. And so they did, everyone skipping and dancing onto dry land. The first thing Noah did was to thank God for rescuing them, just as he had promised. And the first thing God did was to make another promise. I won't ever destroy the world again. And like a warrior who puts away his bow and arrow at the end of a great battle, God said, see, I have hung up my bow in the clouds. And there, in the clouds, just where the storm meets the sun, was a beautiful bow made of light. It was a new beginning in God's world. And it wasn't long before everything went wrong again, but God wasn't surprised. He knew this would happen. That's why, before the beginning of time, he had another plan, a better plan. A plan not to destroy the world, but to rescue it. A plan one day to send his own son, the rescuer. God's strong anger against hate and sadness and death would come down once more, but not on his people or his world. No, God's war bow was not pointing down at his people. It was pointing up into the heart of heaven. It's not a secret. It's not a fairy tale. It's not made up.
boys and girls, um, I hope that you are keeping well and that you have had a lovely week off school with your new teachers, aka mum and dad, um, and that you've also been getting outside into the sunshine and doing lots of fun things. This week at church we thought that we would make sure that you still get your Sunday worship service um, just like the adults. So you've maybe already listened to a lovely talk from Liz about an awesome man called Noah. You've maybe tried out some craft with Belinda and listened to some songs too. And now you get the chance to learn a really cool memory verse as well. So the memory verse that we have picked is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And it is from Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. And Philippians is a great book of the Bible found in the New Testament. And we picked this verse because we felt that it matched really well with our story. You learnt about a man called Noah. And what did he do? What was it that Noah did? Yeah, exactly. He built a massive ark, which is just a funny name for a boat. He built this massive boat and inside he put all of his family and all types of animals, two of each kind. So there wasn't going to be a lot of room in this boot and it sort of tells you how big it would be. Just think of your house and how many people live in there. Imagine filling it with lots of animals too. There wouldn't be much space. So that just shows you the massive tasks that Noah had to do. And really, no human could have done it on their own. Noah was just an ordinary man, but the special thing about Noah was that he believed and he trusted in God. And God allowed him and strengthened him to be able to build this massive boat. And then to be able to float around in it for days and days and days before finally resting back on the land again. How amazing. And then God showed us a lovely promise in a rainbow at the end, just like our rainbow me to tell us that he would never do anything like that again, but that he would always be with us to strengthen us. So if there's anything maybe in some of the work that you're doing at home, maybe some of the new skills you're trying, maybe in sport or in music, that you think are maybe difficult or hard, you can ask God to strengthen you and he'll help you through it. So let's have a go at saying this memory verse together. So I can, do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. Now, I'm sure that was really good, but let's see if you can do it a little bit louder this time. Ready? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. Now, sometimes it makes it a little bit easier if you've got a memory like mine, which doesn't always work very well, if we have some actions to go along with it. So, we'll start here and we'll think, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. So let's try them all together this time. So I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. Excellent, well done. I can see you're all getting the hang of that really, really well. This time though, what we're going to do is I'm just going to say it and you have to do all the actions at home. So. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. Super well done. So I'm going to make it a little bit harder for you this time. This time you have to turn around so you're not facing me anymore and see if you can still do the actions and say the words. I'm sure you can. So three, I'll give you a hand if need be. Three, two, one. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians chapter four, verse 
13. Excellent, well done. So I want you this week to keep practicing those actions and saying the memory verse as well. You could do it by maybe hunking down really small and saying them or stretching up really tall or doing it in lots of different funky places and even get your mum and dad to video you doing it and send some in to us on Facebook um, So, because we would love to see what you've been up to and how you've been learning our memory verse. I hope you all have a lovely week. I'll be praying for you all and hope to see you all very soon. Bye. Hi guys, how are you? Good to see you all. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday and I'm just here to give you some ideas for your craft for Sunday school. Big thanks to Liz and Megan and Rebecca for presenting such a wonderful story of Noah and the Ark and at the end of that story we have this wonderful promise of a rainbow. And I'm sure some of you out there have already had from schools um, an idea to put a rainbow up in your window or to do something um, of that nature during the week. And um, certainly our school's gone mad with it. And I thought that as we were thinking about God having the whole world in his hands and um, delivering Noah and his family and giving them the promise of a rainbow, I thought we could do the same. We could give that good news to everybody out there by displaying in our window, on our gates, on our doors, anywhere at all, um, a rainbow. And I thought you could just let your imaginations go really wild. Um, some of the pictures that I've got up here on the iPad are from my children this week in school and they have been really, really inventive. Some of them have done just posters, which are really good. Some of them have done um, little captions on them, um, encouraging everyone. Maybe we could make that a Bible verse or a Bible promise. Um, some of them have done it with fingerprints uh, all over it. Um, nice round dots. Maybe you could even do it with a stencil or square dots or whatever you wanted to do with paint. Uh, some people have done it with stripes and then decorated all around it. Uh, others have done their garden pavement and they've painted a rainbow out on their garden pavement. Um, and I think it's particularly good maybe for people that are near a road um, and not um, don't have uh, their door or their window close to the road. Maybe you could do that along your wall at the top. Those coping stones along the top, you could paint them different colours. Uh, this one is, they've made a great big banner for their window and they've used lots of bits of paper to stick together. This guy here, he has actually used lots of tissue paper and just stuck it all together. You could maybe do that with coloured paper if you didn't have tissue paper, like a mosaic. But he's made a brilliant window um, picture for uh, a rainbow. And Emily here, oh, she has been fantastic and she has actually painted one on her window, which is really nice. And they do rub off mummies and daddies, so don't worry about that. And this is another great big long banner type picture. And this is Charlie and she has actually done uh, a rainbow on her fence. Now she's not done it the traditional rainbow shape. She's just put rainbow colours on it. Perhaps you could take one of these ideas. Maybe you've got one brilliant idea of your own and you could use that. And maybe you could put a wee message on it. A wee promise from God from the Bible. Um, that God's promises are true and that he will be with us and keep us safe at all times. Let's say a wee prayer just before we go and you go to do your, your craft. Dear Father, we just thank you for being our friend, for being faithful and true and for having the whole world, Lord, in your hand. 
we pray that you would bless us and that you would keep us and protect us throughout this week. Amen. Bye.